Hey everyone, this is Anthony, and we're walking towards El Socolo right now for the first time. Uh, just the overall city is fantastic. The architecture is beautiful. Uh, definitely European vibes when you're walking through here. Uh, clean plants. You know, look how they keep the plants clean. Look at the uh, the tree. Um, again, the architecture is beautiful, as you see here, and. I definitely recommend visiting Mexico City because the food is great, the people are nice, um, just the vibe, I mean, I wish I could live there, honestly, um, but yeah, I'm going towards El Socolo. Um, in this clip, you can see the huge uh, Mexican flag, it, it blows beautiful uh, when um, the wind is there, uh, you know, when the wind is going, it, it's blow, it blows quite beautifully. As I stated before, uh, the architecture is beautiful. Um, definitely, if you've been to, um, you know, France, Italy, it's, uh, Europe in general, you can definitely notice the resemblance in the architecture. It's just as beautiful in those countries as it is here in Mexico City. Um, you can see the floor. It's clean. I don't see any. You should Google Starbucks. This is Templo Mayor. Hey guys, Anthony here, and so here we're at the church of, uh, located at the Sokolo. It's one of the most beautiful churches I have ever seen. Um, as you can tell, there is a lot of architecture similar to ones you can find in Italy or France. Um, if you look at the details of the uh, posts and columns, um, absolutely beautiful church. Uh, the video does not do its justice. Definitely uh, recommend visiting. In the surrounding buildings of the Sokolo, you can find several uh, rooftop bars and restaurants. Uh, you can see one there where the flags uh, were waving. You can also see uh, hotels uh, with balconies uh, and terraces. Uh, this may be a government building that we're looking at right now, um, but nonetheless, the, the Sokolo is surrounded with uh, hotels, restaurants, and rooftop uh, terraces. Uh, right around there where the flags are waving. Um, in the center is the beautiful flag uh, waving in the wind like I stated uh, previously. Uh, at the top there we see some sort of communication towers that more than likely are used by the government there. Um, 
in this general area now is where El Grito happens each Independence Day, uh, which I have attended. Uh, I'll have another video posted of me doing that, but that is where the uh, president uh, uh, speaks to his people uh, each Independence Day. Uh, but as you can see, people are just walking, going about their day. Uh, no one really bothers you. Um, you don't feel unsafe. Um, there is the flag waving. Uh, it looks so great in the uh, in the wind. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely a great time to visit. <laughs> Hey guys, so here I just wanted to end the video by uh, advising you guys to, you know, subscribe and share it. But more importantly, I wanted to end the video to show you the flag. Just uh, it's a great uh, ending image in my opinion. It, it just blows so beautifully. It's so huge. Colors are vibrant. Uh, the country is very patriotic. Um, in a few moments, uh, the Mexican military will be coming down to take the flag uh, down. They do it every day. They they take the uh, put the flag up and at at dawn and put take it down at dusk uh, every single day. And so that that's what we're waiting for right here. 